Hi there, and thank you so much for tuning in today. At Epicure, we care about what's in our food because we all deserve to eat better and live healthy lives. As a registered dietitian, I'm passionate about encouraging families to get in the kitchen and cook with whole foods as much as possible and encourage you to get to know what's in your food and on your plate. Epicure's high quality urban spice blends paired with our time-saving cookware and delicious recipes can help families get nourishing meals on the table fast without ever compromising on taste or quality. This includes high quality cookware to make your food too. So today we're excited because we're gonna be talking about our never ever list. These are ingredients you will never find in any of our products. So what's our product promise? Well, we promise to never serve you anything we would not be proud to serve our own family and friends. Our never ever list is an indispensable list that highlights the ingredients you won't find in any of our products. Epicure products are free of preservatives and artificial colors, are 100% gluten and peanut free, and are sodium and sugar conscious too. Our ingredients are ethically sourced and 85% non-GMO project verified and growing. So why do we have this list? Well, at Epicure, we believe in providing options to support different lifestyles. Our products allow you to decide how you'd like to use them. We provide suggested recipes with real wholesome ingredients, but they're flexible to suit your family's preferences and needs. If gluten-free is a must for you, we've got you covered. If you're looking for peanut-free meals to pack for school, we're here for you. Avoiding preservatives? Well, we have or have a preference for non-GMO project verified products. Again, we are proud to provide products to suit your different needs. Transparency, quality, and food safety along with minimally processed ingredients are all important to us. So let's talk about some of these ingredients. First up is gluten. Now gluten is a protein found in many grains such as wheat, barley, and rye. And all Epicure products are gluten-free. We conduct testing on site to ensure that our customers have access to gluten-free products. We aren't saying that everyone needs to follow a gluten-free diet. But for those living with celiac disease or have gluten can actually damage their small intestine and prevent important nutrients from being absorbed. So unless you have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, you don't need to follow and avoid gluten. And for those that do, we are proud to have a solution for you. We take gluten testing seriously at Epicure. So if you are living with celiac disease or need to eliminate gluten, we have you covered. All of Epicure products are tested for gluten and the presence as per current requirements by Health Canada and the US Food and Drug Administration. The testing involves collecting a composite sample of every finished product lot, grinding the sample to ensure uh, homogeneity of the sample, and then testing the sample using validated lateral flow device method. Each lot of finished product is tested for the presence of gluten. In addition, the ingredients used to make these products are also tested for gluten presence by our suppliers and then double tested by Epicure on receipt of ingredients. So we take it very seriously. Let's talk about peanut. Well, did you know in Canada, one of the priority allergens that must be declared on our food label is peanuts? Well, we know that those with peanut allergies must be very careful reading nutrition labels and need to be mindful of cross-contamination. Even a store-bought rotisserie chicken is questionable. And Epicure is a peanut-free facility and works closely with our, our suppliers to provide products that are free from cross-contamination. So rest easy when packing those school lunches. Artificial flavors and colors. Well, we understand that consumers are asking for a simple ingredient list. At Epicure, you won't find any artificial flavors or colors in any of our products. That's because we value using real wholesome ingredients. We use minimal amounts of natural flavoring to contribute to concentrated flavors um, that herbs and spices cannot provide. Now these substances that impart flavors that have been derived from a plant or an animal source. What about sugar and sodium conscious? Well, Epicure is sugar and sodium conscious, but what does that really mean? It's all about portion control of added sugars and choosing minimally processed, real wholesome foods, reducing heavily processed foods and cooking at home to reduce the amount of sugar they eat. 
Now, Epicure products and recipes are designed to be enjoyed for their flavor while knowing they're nutritionally balanced. The latest World Health Organization recommendations suggest that we should eat less than six to 10 teaspoons of added or free sugars a day. Now, Epicure products keep these recommendations in mind and our seasonings are sugar, some are sugar free where possible and we only use when necessary and we design everything being sugar conscious in mind. And we love to use the high quality, less processed organic cane sugar or coconut sugars in our dessert mixes. And did you know that 77% of the sodium that we eat actually comes from ultra processed foods? It's true, on average, we eat double the amount of sodium our bodies need. And we develop our products to be sodium conscious, low sodium or no added salt wherever possible, taking into consideration that the average consumer daily amount of sodium and ensuring that our recipes use this principle too. So you can trust that it's easy to be sodium conscious of Epicure. We're sodium conscious, making it easy for you to be too. Now fat, fat gets a bad rap and here's why. Fat is actually important for good health, but the type of fat matters. At Epicure, you will never find hydrogenated trans fats in any of our products. Now trans fats can actually increase your risk of heart disease by raising the bad cholesterol and lowering the good cholesterol. Now we ensure all our recipes are perfectly balanced, ensuring healthy fats are used in recipes and meal solutions too. And did you know in 2018, Health Canada banned the use of partially hydrogenated oils in food. Now artificial trans fats can also be phased out in the US as of 2018. So what about anti-caking agents and fillers? Well, caking occurs when dry food ingredients clump and stick together, usually because of humidity in the air. Now, anti-caking agents are ingredients that help prevent caking by allowing these ingredients to flow freely, allowing food manufacturers to blend and fill their ingredients in a safe and efficient manner. Now, this is why at times we sometimes need to use anti-caking agents in less than 2% of the entire blend. Otherwise, they would be unusable for mixing in urban spice blends. And when possible, we endeavor to source ingredients that don't contain anti-caking agents as well, which is why some of our products um, harden in the jar. Now, we have innovated a few ingredients like our innovative tomato powder, which actually uses a rice-based application instead of silicone dioxide to prevent caking. Pretty smart, right? And we do not use filler in any of our products. Fillers usually refer to ingredients added to lower manufacturing cost of a food product. Now, low cost ingredients like sugar, salt, and starches may be used in fillers for products, but not in Epicure products. And what about maltodextrin? Maltodextrin are starches that are treated with enzymes to produce maltodextrin. Now, maltodextrin can come in multiple forms of carbohydrate sources, but it's mostly sourced from corn in North America. We care deeply about what goes into our products and most importantly, what's not in our blends. We do not add maltodextrin specifically to our blends. It sometimes is a subcomponent of our ingredients that may cake or impact clumping in our blends like apple cider vinegar, which prevents caking, AKA forming a block. So any use of rice concentrated or organic maltodextrin is typically less than 2% of the entire blend. So what about preservatives and additives? Well, did you know that dry herbs and spice naturally have long shelf lives and don't require preservatives due to their low moisture content? The vast majority of our products don't contain additives or preservatives. However, due to food safety, preservatives are present in some of our Epicure ingredients. We are committed to providing safe and delicious fine food products and will only use raw ingredients that contain preservatives when absolutely necessary. For example, our amazing real grated Parmesan cheese uh, contains lots of moisture and therefore contains sorbic acid and that prevents the spoilage. But you will never find benzoic acid, calcium sorbate, erythropic acid, potassium nitrate or sodium benzoate in any of our products. These are antioxidants that can be used as preservatives by slowing down how quickly a product might spoil. Examples include asorbyl polymate butylated hydroxyl inositol. That is a mouthful, isn't it? BHA or butylated hydroxyluene, BHT. And rest assured, you won't find any of those in our products either. 
So what about gums? Well, xanthan gum is used in our power protein blends, and this helps with the consistency, consistency when it's mixed in liquid. And because we are 100% gluten-free, we sometimes use xanthan gum in our baked goods. Now, gluten plays an important role in baking by holding things together and providing elasticity, which gives that mouthfeel. So to help mimic this, we sometimes use xanthan gum in some of our baked good products. So let's talk cookware. At Epicure, we only use silicone, stainless steel, glass, aluminum, nylon, and BPA-free polycarbonate. We are so proud to be free of PTFEs. Those are the polytetrafluoroethylenes and PFOAs, the polyfluorotonic acid. Now these man-made chemicals are often used in cookware products, creating a non-stick coating. Now PTFE, the concerns is that it might release harmful or carcinogenic gases at a temperature of above 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And PFOA is used in the process of making PTFE and it may cause health concerns because it stays in our bodies and our environment for a very long amount of time. So you won't see PTFEs or PFOAs in any of our cookware products. You also won't find melamine in any of our cookware either. Melamine is a synthetic chemical that's used in industrial applications such as production of resins and foams to fertilizers and pesticides. Now, it is not allowed to be used in food. And in the United States, it is approved for use in manufacturing of some cooking utensils, plates, plastic products, and paper, among other things. Now, concerns with melamine are when highly acidic foods and at extreme temperatures, the amount of melamine can migrate into the plastic can increase. So products with melamine contamination above the levels noted by the FDA's risk assessment may put people at risk for conditions such as kidney stones and kidney flavor or even premature death. So rest assured, you won't find any melamine in any of our cookware. What about BPA? That's bisphenol A. It's a chemical that's used to make hard, clear plastic known as polycarbonate, which is used in many consumer products, including re reusable water bottles and baby bottles. Now, there are environmental concerns when heated that concern leaching and health impacts, in particular with infants and children. This is why you will never find any BPA in any of our cookware. Next up, phthalates seem to be a hot topic these days as many consumers and many um, manufacturers are working to remove it from plastic and cookware as well. And phthalates are used for its ability to increase flexibility, transparency, durability, and longevity of plastic. Now, phthalates are used widely in polyphenol chloride plastics, known as PVC, which are used to make products from plastic packaging film and sheets, such as food manufacturing materials, to inflatable toys. Now, PVC is made from something called vinyl chloride, which is recognized as a human carcinogen by the National Toxicity Program, a division of America's National Institute of Health. Now the health concern is that human health effects from exposure to low levels of phthalates are unknown and more research is needed to assess the human impacts and exposure to these phthalates. Now at Epicure, we are so proud that our sachets and our meal solutions are coming from approved suppliers that have confirmed we have no phthalates in any of our packaging or any of our films. And at Epicure, we are so proud of our Never Ever list and our high quality cookware. You can feel good about our commitment to you and our promise to never serve you anything we would not be proud to serve our family and friends. So we hope that was informative to you and wishing you the best healthy life ever.